So I first encountered the book Born on the Water back in the spring after reading the story, reading the poetry from Renee and Nicole. It's so powerful. It did such a good job telling the history prior to being stolen, the history of enslavement and the triumph over it. I knew I had to get into the hands of my teachers. My students love literature and, and, and learning about new things. And so when I read the book and when she started to discuss the, you know, where we came from, I realized that this was gonna be really impactful for the students, right? That they were gonna see beyond maybe what we've already talked about for social studies. First time I saw the book, was on the screen and during the morning, and it seemed very interesting. Though I didn't know what it was about, I thought they were just like people born on the water, but actually it turned out to be a story filled of poems and real life stuff that really happened and shows their real story and before they were taken by a bunch of people that could have done their own burdens. I really like the beginning of the story because it shows them they're free and it seems like they have a good time on their land and it showed like the languages that they speak and how they dress and they had like interesting colors on their body. There was a picture of a woman holding up kind of like a flat globe that had planets on it. I initially thought that they wouldn't have an education but at that picture uh, I found out that they had learned stuff and that they had their own language. They have to learn about many different cultures and many different cultures they really don't see every day. So it really prepared them because they really didn't know a lot about the African culture. They see American culture, but not a lot of the African cultures. And they were talking about like everything that they did prior to being stolen from their land. They talked about how they would dance and they were like, oh, well, I dance too. And they talked about, you know, the food that they eat and how they have family and friends. A lot of the students were able to make good connections to how they connected to their own life because they talked about their family. And when the students tried to think about how far they could go back with their ancestry, most of them couldn't go back further than a grandparent or two. Because we knew Born in the Water has some very big ideas, big emotions, we spoke with our school counselor. We had them look through the book. The school counselor understood the moments that could be most triggering, most alarming to students, and we gave them time, not handing it to the council the day it's being read, but weeks ahead so they can formulate their own thinking around it and be prepared to think about which students might be triggered by one moment or the next so that maybe they check in with them that day. One student asked me, how could someone treat you this way, right? And that's where empathy came in. And then we talked about the lines in the book. They taught people that we were less than human. And we connected that, that empathy couldn't happen if you don't think that someone is human. It was a little sad to see that they just got like taken away from where they lived and like thrown onto a boat, especially like the kids that were underneath the boat. I think it's something bad that happened, but it still is a part of our history. It was more detailed about how we got freedom and how the first African-American child was born and how we fought for freedom for 250 years. When she read the story to us, I felt courage and bravery. And being able to see a book like that and seeing how such a horrible thing actually turned out to be something, you know, fabulous. And then really, they just feel smart. They, I mean, it may, that's what that confidence does, is seeing themselves, it makes them feel like, well, you know, they lift their chest up, they feel good about themselves. I think it's very important that our students had this experience working through a complex and difficult book, working through the questions being asked by their teacher and also the discussion they've had with their classmates, be able to build these communication skills, these interpersonal skills that will allow them to work together with people of varying backgrounds, work together with people of varying perspectives on whatever those topics are. I think building that framework, building that groundwork now when they're young allows us to support that and build that through their K-12 education. If a grown-up was to say that whites shouldn't read this book, I'd say that they're wrong and that everybody should be able to read a book like this. Yeah, the past is pretty bad, but the future can be better and the children that are learning should be able to make their own choices and it doesn't matter about your skin color is what this whole book is saying.